Well, most people when they think of HPV or they think of HPV vaccination, they think about preventing cervical cancer because that's a, that's a serious, a major cause of, of morbidity, mortality for women. Uh, but many people don't think about oropharyngeal cancer. And actually, rates of oropharyngeal cancer among men have now exceeded those of, of cervical cancer among women. And uh, so it's very, very important with HPV vaccination to talk about that because many people say, well, we'll vaccinate our, our girls, but they forget to vaccinate the boys, even though the risk of oropharyngeal cancer is now actually greater. We have really worked very hard to bring in oral health providers, particularly the dentists, and we've done that in a number of ways. Uh, first, we invited them to be part of our HPV uh, prevention uh, working group, and we've invited them to our two annual HPV summits. We've actually had breakout sessions for dentists and oral health care providers, and so they're very much a part. Uh, oral pharyngeal cancer is, is part of the presentations at that summit. Uh, we have also worked with the Oral Health Co Coalition um, and, and, in partnering with them. And um, we, uh, we found out that uh, actually writing prescriptions for HPV vaccination is within the scope of practice according to the Arkansas uh, Dental Board. And so um, that's something dentists can actually do. And the dentists have, have pointed out to us that even though uh, uh, the pre-adolescent child may only go to their pediatrician once, they're going to their dentist you know, once or twice a year. Uh, so there's many opportunities for education and even for prescribing those vaccinations to be given by a pharmacist, for example. Another way that we've worked with our oral health providers is we've we put together a card. We actually partnered with our tobacco prevention and control uh, program. And on one side, it talks about avoiding smokeless tobacco and then on the other side, it talks about getting an HPV vaccination. And uh, we are now working on a whole toolkit to go along with that so that the dentists, oral health care providers can hand those out and have that educational material. And then to cap it off, our uh, state public health dentist and our medical director for our immunization program wrote an opinion piece for the Journal of the Arkansas Dental Society. And so we've been getting that word out there and we found that our dentists and oral, oral health care providers are very excited to be part of this partnership. Well, the impact has certainly been to build out our partnerships. We found new, new educational partners in our oral health care providers potentially uh, new prescribers of, of vaccine. It's too early to see an impact on oropharyngeal cancer deaths. We won't see that for probably decades, uh, but we feel like we're definitely heading in the right direction. In Arkansas, we are doing okay for immunizing girls, but our rates of HPV immunization among boys is about half that for the girls. And so this has really helped us to make that point. Boys need to get vaccinated because oropharyngeal cancer is a big problem. I think in, in, in building that partnership, I think it's important to, to just reach out and ask. I don't think we had any idea how willing um, and how ready our uh, oral health care uh, community was to partner on this until we asked them, invited them in. Um, obviously, it's important to have them part of your working group and get their input, um, uh, but uh, uh, I, I was just really impressed by how willing our, our dentists and oral health care providers uh, were, how eager they were to be part uh, of, of this uh, you know, program to prevent oropharyngeal cancer.